idea for a small kitchen reverb because this is not like the ideal kitchen we we want to have it doesn't have you know like nice drawers for the pots it's very basic and uh, could be also bigger so until we redo the floor do, put the floor heating i just thought that cooking is something you do like two three times a day and is important part of uh, like everyday life so therefore i don't want to look at the basic wooden um, kitchen cabinets and terrible marble uh, worktop so i decided that i'm gonna paint everything and do it nicely i think dogs are chasing a rat in the garden hopefully i went to the shop yesterday and bought some paint it will be a sage green matte finish uh, doors but also i'm painting this frame because it's a part of the kitchen um, i washed everything inside because it did have a bit of a funky smell so i hope that will go away and i'm just about to open the container with the paint and then we see where that goes so that's the color and uh, the paint will be finished with, uh, with its matte finish so i'm hoping for a bit more modern it's hard to say it's like a timeless color i think i think when it dries it will turn a little bit brighter but we see in the end it's just a test uh this is something i haven't done before this kind of painting so i hope lucini hey For this uh, little refurb work, I'm using, um, following the advice of a guy from the shop, uh, this paint that is like a primer, it's called Todo Terreno, and, and you can put it on any kind of uh, material like glass, plastic, wood, metal, uh, even the tiles. I think I used like half of the, of the whole thing. Uh, so I'm doing two coats as uh, on the instructions, two coats of this um, Todo Terreno and then I use the same green as for the frame of the kitchen.
match that's the finished effect i'm about to put the drawers back in but surprisingly uh they don't fit whichever way they need to be arranged in a specific um order and i did not write that down so i have about 30 combinations to get them uh, where they're supposed to be so far i didn't gain enough mental strength to um to get all these tasks there are a few little spots to touch up but i'll do that when everything is like fully assembled the way it's supposed to be the last thing that's left is to do the epoxy resin on this so what from my reading what i did um is that i bought pretty standard normal paint in the color i like and that's like a bit of off whitey ish cream color and uh, so you just paint the uh, marble or granite whatever like there are so many names for this material and uh, you just paint it with normal paint and then you put epoxy resin for safety and like general um, sturdiness to hopefully keep it nice looking for a long time i also bought um, silicone extra silicone because i know there is some sort of leak here uh, around this thing so i will redo the silicone there and uh, and that way we don't get any leak underneath because i saw signs that there have been something like this going on before um i want to tape uh, the cooker off nicely it's like a really cool brown vintage color um so that's definitely something i'd like to keep either if not in this kitchen then maybe in the outdoor area where the pizza oven is but this stays with us forever this is like really cute really sweet i love the the way it looks uh i haven't rearranged the plates inside yet but i think that's just gonna be like sometime next week see-through shade i'm really happy how it turned out uh it did like majority of the cost was just buying these rolls of sticks uh in total it was 160 euros plus the little zip ties and um yeah we just like extended the shaded area here the last thing i want to do about this roof here is to mount fairy lights on this whole area so we will have the effect of like million star hotel here uh with like little cute lights and uh, but unfortunately i ordered it on amazon like last week and now it says it's been delayed and i don't know where i'm getting them actually so so that sucks i was hoping that i'll be able to get them today and maybe even put them on but uh they they're not there yet so thank you so much and see you next time